Hello vlog! We finally made it to Milan. Well, Don and I have probably been awake for about 24 hours now, so we are tired. But I did a quick little outfit switcheroo, and as you can see behind us, we are at the Duomo, and it is literally breathtaking. I cannot believe it, how beautiful it is. But we basically just got off of our plane and we are hungry, we are thirsty, we are tired, we are all the things. We're gonna start with hunger and we're gonna go try and find something to eat. All right, you guys, at this point we are just killing time. We decided to just walk into any random cafe and stumbled into a Cafe Verga Nano. Something like that, but we literally just got waters and then a little chocolate muffin that we're gonna share. Um, but we can't check into our Airbnb until much later, so like I said, we're just killing time at the moment. This water is gonna hit so nicely. Adele and I are in Italy for two full weeks, but all of these vlogs are gonna be smaller vlogs for each of the locations that we go to, so make sure you're subscribed so you see all of the locations we go and all of the things that we do. Okay, you guys, we just did a 25 minute walk from our Airbnb, and we arrived to the QC Therm Memelano. Whoa. <laughs> Therme. Milano. Therme Milano. It is a thermal, well actually it's like a, how would it's a day spa. It's a day spa, but it's very like um, immersive. It's a very like immersive spa. So we found it on TikTok and we are trying it out. We're getting a massage because God knows we need one. for the whole day it has been downstairs with the doorman but anyways as you guys saw we did the QC Thermo Milano spa situation and that was so amazing and absolutely everything that we needed but anyways we have a decent amount of today left so I think we're gonna kind of chill into the Airbnb for a little bit and then possibly go find some dinner and have some Italian pasta or Italian pizza we haven't fully decided yet here's a quick little tour of the Airbnb front door then we have a little kitchen area this is the living room with a little desk situation we have a little terrace which is so stinking cute and a little spot to have our morning coffee or croissant and when you come back inside we have the bathroom over here and a little closet situation this is the bathroom which I feel like is honestly a lot bigger than what I thought it was gonna be the beautiful big mirror. And then Odell is already laying, but this whole area over here is just a bed area. And that's our Airbnb for Milan. Buongiorno, it's us again, and we are going to... Da Zero. Da Zero, we're gonna have our first Italian pizza! Also, can we just take a minute? This is the elevator of our Airbnb. So we've been walking everywhere as the Italians do. And I just think it's funny because the GPS can tell you to go down like an alleyway. And in the US you're like, maybe I'm not gonna go down there. But here, like the alleys are so cute and honestly, and not scary at all. Did you just say? Should I ask them to cut it for me? You know what I don't understand is how the Italians have managed to make such a good pizza. Like the sauce, the crust, the cheese. The sausage. Oh, don't got sausage. The sausage. Like everything was so good. Phenomenal. We did our white. Yeah, and we that's ate the a thing too. A full size pizza like this big. A full pizza. But you don't feel like disgusting after eating it. Like you feel, obviously you feel full, but like not 
I don't know. It's just like a whole different experience eating pizza here than like Papa John's in the U.S. or oh my something. God. That's not even pizza. We did our ratings, and for me, I got the margarita pizza, like I said, and I think I'm gonna rate it like an 8.8. And Odell? 8.4 for my Diavola pizza. 8.4, which honestly, you guys, that's really good ratings for pizza. Vibes overall, 10 out of 10. Really yeah, enjoyed service. it. Good, super really good nice. service. Everyone was really sweet. And now, where are we going? To get some gelato. Maybe yeah. grape. We gotta get some gelato. Gelato is secured. I got mango, and Odell got strawberry, and what's the bottom one? Cookie. Okay and cookie and I tried his strawberry. It is so good and so fresh. I haven't tried my mango yet, so true taste test. Oh my gosh. I don't understand how they can get everything to taste just so fresh. Bell's rating is a 7.8. Mine is, I want to say 7.8 as well. I think that's a pretty accurate rating. I'm doing all right. Uh-huh. Morning vlog! Today is our last full day in Milan and we have a very exciting day tour going on. In about 30 minutes or so, we're gonna be hopping on a bus to Lake Como. But first, we need to stop and fuel our bodies with, of course, some croissants and some coffee. I have my first cappuccino in Italy and I'm so excited to try it. But I'll see you guys if you watch some of my other vlogs and you know Del and I are pretty big fans of Get Your Guide and that is what we're using to take our tour to Lake Como. So definitely check them out. I'm not sponsored by them at all, but they honestly have been really good. So I'll keep you posted on how this trip goes and obviously you guys will see how it goes. That's good. We got a Nutella croissant, a vanilla custard croissant, of course my cappuccino, and Odell got fresh orange juice. We made it! We are in the town of Como, and back there, can you see him? That is, what is his name? Alessandro Volta. Alessandro Volta and he created the battery. But anyways, this town is super cute. We're here for an hour before we get back on the bus to go somewhere else um, and to Bellagio. And then right now we're gonna walk, I think she said about a minute to two minutes to the lake. weather update for you guys. The weather app says it's 65. However, it does not really feel like 65 and it feels absolutely incredible. I did bring a jacket just in case I did get cold, but I'm just wearing like this little dress and it just feels beautiful. We are here in September and the weather is just incredible. I would say it's like a little overcast with maybe chance of rain, but it hasn't rained. So fingers crossed it doesn't rain for the rest of our trip and for the rest of this tour. Honestly, I think this is the nicest McDonald's I've ever seen. What did you say about this church? Built 10 years after the one in Milan. 10 years after the one in Milan. It's so pretty. Duomo de Como. Stop number two on our little tour of today was just five minutes away and it is a beautiful garden. That's kind of just the other side of the Como area that we're in. It's so pretty. Okay, we just got to Bellagio and Odell and I immediately are very hungry, so we stopped to get some food at a restaurant called Susi, which was recommended to us by the guide, and we are both getting fettuccine, which was also recommended to us by the guide. And of course, I finally had to get an Aperol spread. So good. All right, we just finished our lunch, and as you guys saw, we both got the fettuccine, and to be honest, I'm gonna have to agree with Odell's opinion of yesterday, where if the food was hotter, it would be better, and that was exactly what happened today. The food was honestly like lukewarm, and then like by the end, of, like once you're getting to the end, it's cold. Um, 
Overall though, I think I'd give this place a 6.8, and you? 6.2. A 6.2. So, I mean, it was alright. It wasn't the best thing we've ever had, but the upper was spritz, but it's definitely it worth like it. Whoa, it's so steep. Thoughts? <laughs> this one better than yesterday. This one's better than uh -huh. yesterday? Let me try. One of the Nutella is so good. That's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. That one's way better than yesterday. Alright. I'll go get you home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this one's. This one's really good. I gotta tell you guys where we went, because I don't even know what the name of it is. We were just walking back to the boat and then pulled up on it. Vlog camera is dying, guys. See you back in Milan. Okay, we've decided to go to a bar to close off our Milan trip. And I did, yes, put on, ignore the mess. I did put on the black dress again, because I feel like the dress I was wearing earlier was too daytime-y. But anyways, we're gonna go check out a rooftop bar and then have dinner there or maybe find dinner. So let's go. You guys are wondering what the Duomo looks like at night. She's just as beautiful. We are back and we didn't even end up going to the rooftop bar which by the way if you do want to go to a rooftop bar that has a beautiful view of the Duomo then it's called Terraza which we didn't end up going to because we kind of got distracted once we got to that area there were a lot of live performers and they were so good so we kind of just walked around and like saw the shops that they have in that area which are also really awesome i would say like the majority of them are higher end brands but anyways i 100 percent recommend going and exploring that area at nighttime because the vibes just felt so different than during the day i'm truly so happy that we ended up doing that um but tomorrow we leave and i am not going to end the vlog just yet because i do think we're going to get breakfast tomorrow so i want to take you guys along for that to give you like one final recommendation but on that note we are going to go to bed i'll see you tomorrow Good morning vlog! We are off to go get breakfast. I think so far that has been the longest commute that we've had to do since being in Milan. We had to get on a tram, right? Yep. And ride it for like 10 stops, but I believe we're in Chinatown now and that's where breakfast is and we are almost there. <laughs> All right, we just made it back to our Airbnb from breakfast. And honestly, I think I'd give breakfast like a 7.8 to 8 out of 10. It honestly was really good. And I feel like it's kind of hard to come by like more American style breakfast. And we obviously got the pancakes, which I think is more American and they were good. But that is a wrap on the Milan Lake Como travel vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You guys know what to do if you did. And then of course subscribe because we do have a lot more Italy vlogs coming. But I'll see you in the next one. Bye.